Hello everyone, welcome to Wrath of Math Lessons. I'm your host, Sean Ian. In today's video, we are proving that if you have a radius of a circle that is perpendicular to a chord of that circle, then it must also bisect that chord. So let's get right into it, and let's get ourselves a nice looking circle. Something like that. That's an all right looking circle. So we've got a center here. Let's call this center, I'll draw a dotted line to name it. Let's call the center O. So now we'll have a chord of this circle right here, and let's name its endpoints A and B. And then we will draw a radius coming down uh, perpendicularly to this chord. That is in the if part of the claim we're trying to prove. So this radius is perpendicular to this chord. And we are trying to prove that if it's perpendicular to the chord, then it must also bisect it. So to get started in doing that, we're going to draw the radii from the center to the endpoints of this chord. So segment OA, and we're gonna draw segment OB. Looks something like that. And now let's also just name this point here where the radius intersects the chord. Uh, I can make that stand out a little bit. So we're gonna name this point, let's call it X. Well, we're just about done. Now, we can note that triangle, let's see, triangle A, X, O is congruent to triangle B, X, O. And why is that? Well, hypotenuse leg. We know that this hypotenuse is congruent to this hypotenuse because they're both radii of the same circle. And then we also know that this leg is congruent to itself because congruence is a reflexive property. And of course, we know these are both right triangles because we assume that the radius was perpendicular to the chord. Therefore, we can use hypotenuse leg to say that these two triangles are congruent. Because these two triangles are congruent, we know, of course, that their corresponding sides are congruent. That means that segment AX is congruent to segment BX. So AX is congruent to BX, and since X is the point where the radius intersects the chord, that means that the radius does in fact bisect chord AB. And that is basically the end of the story. That's all she wrote, and that is a terrible tombstone. So thank you very much for watching. I hope this video helped you understand how to prove that if a radius is perpendicular to a chord, then it must also bisect it. Just to run you through that real quick again, we drew a radius that is perpendicular to this chord, and then we drew the radii from the center to the endpoints of the chord. That's two radii. And using hypotenuse leg, we were then able to say that the two triangles, two right triangles that we have created have to be congruent. Therefore, segment AX is congruent to segment BX, and that means that the radius has indeed bisected that chord. So thank you very much for watching. Hope this video helped you. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math videos on the internet. I can hear your voice from all the way up here. Won't you please come to me? You'll have it up here, dear. There's a light where I float that erases all.